Hey, I'm Tasha Dickinson, and today on Buff Basics, we're going to talk about lifestyle photography. So for this shoot, I was hired by the Westin to capture some lifestyle images for their Run Westin program. We started the shoot out on the iconic pedestrian bridge in downtown Nashville, and um, to our surprise, it was a very, very chilly morning. I think it was about 28 or 30 degrees, um, but we had to get these amazing lifestyle images where they looked so happy and so warm. and. I knew that I wanted to capture these images in a way that was beyond just what natural light could capture. I definitely could have shot it like that, but it wouldn't have had that oomph. And so I knew I needed to bring in some palsy buff Einsteins. I chose the Einstein because I knew it would have enough power for me to photograph outdoors and also be great for indoors. The portability is amazing. Plus the color consistency is on point. But I knew I only wanted to have one modifier. We were on a major time crunch, which is why I chose my go-to modifier, the parabolic umbrella. It's such a versatile tool. I can take it very, very quickly from using it for a group shot to within 15 seconds using it for an individual shot. Since it was such a cloudy and gloomy day and what the Western really wanted was some bright, fun images, I knew for a few images I wanted to add in the mainframe with an orangish yellow gel to give a little bit of a warmth behind them like the sun was coming through. For that setup, what I did was I put the parabolic umbrella at about 45 degrees camera right and then camera left behind them was the mainframe with the gel just to kind of emulate the sun. closely with the marketing director at the Westin. Since this was photographed during business hours, we needed to be very aware and have my team very aware of guests that were at the hotel and not interfering with any of the business going on that day. The Westin wanted to capture the entire process of the running program. So we focused on getting some meet and greet images with the models, some stretching images, images exiting the building, and images of them coming back from their run and doing a cool down. Anytime you're gonna head indoor with a strobe light, it can be a little challenging if you're just starting out with lighting because you have to balance the ambient light, which is the light that's already in the room, with the light that you're bringing in. One way you can accomplish this is first just taking a natural light image with no flash going off. And once you have that, how you want all the light around you to look, then you're gonna add in your flash and dial it in for the perfect exposure. guys so much for watching. I really hope this video is helpful. If you want to see more of my work, you can follow me on Instagram at Tasha Dickinson. And if you want to see more awesome videos like this from other amazing photographers, make sure you subscribe below. I'm not sure what side it's on, but it's below somewhere down there. Subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye. What song is playing in your head during a dance break? Um, Yeah. <laughs> We're very friendly at Run Weston. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs>